I just want money. I ain't got no money. I gave I you. Care. What did I tell you? I hey. don't care. Just give me more. No, you got no money. You get your own money now, yeah? Not That's what's going to happen now. To do with. Be quiet. Seventeen-year-old college dropout Remzi has one sole obsession. Remzi will always set me off about money. His aim is money, 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 and it always starts an argument. Can I just have money? How much you need? I don't know, just money. I'm just going to give you a tenner. So I've got. No, 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 I've got no money. Just give me a tenner then. And I'll just give in and I'll just give in like that. If I see something, I buy it even though I don't need it. I know I'm spoiled, but if they said no when I was younger, I wouldn't be like this. Since Ramsey's parents divorced five years ago, he hardly bothers to visit his mum and her new partner, Neil. He's always invited. He'll say yeah, and then he'll let me down. Ramsey now lives with his dad in a one-bed flat, hogging the only bedroom and forcing his dad to sleep on the sofa. And this is my bed here, you know, this is my bed here. So I've even done that for him, you know. I've even got him a place. Ramsey never stops taking, but has nothing to give in return. What I do around the flat? Nothing. Oh, three, yeah. One, two, three. No longer in education, Ramsey now lives to spend his parents' money and thinks nothing of wasting it all on clothes and partying. <laughs> I'm I'm getting to hate him, you know, because of, like, I know it's bad to say that about his son, but he's got no respect for me. Why should I carry on doing what I'm doing for him? You've got to stand up, otherwise you're aiming down the college. Come on. You when you're on. We're strong. There you go. There you go. One more drink. Ramsey is on the road to nowhere, but doesn't even seem to care. Oh, so My master plan, I don't have one. I don't think about the future. I just think about what's happening now. Dad? I'll get you a drink, but I'll get you a small bottle, all right? Dad, as we always like... do! God, dear. 16-year-old Bryony has a very short fuse. When you're at shops, can you get a drink? No. You said you will! She can get quite angry if she can't get her own way, and she can swear quite a lot. When I get angry, I get so angry. I literally, I can feel it all can't, oh, it's horrible. Even talking about being angry oh, makes me angry. <laughs> And it's not just at home that Bryony's anger has caused problems. Got kicked out of my mainstream school. I think it was just the end of year 10. She wasn't getting much of education because she was uh, being put into isolation all the time. Uh, she got to school, disrupt the class. Next, her wild behaviour got her kicked out of two separate specialist schools. And by this point, even anger management couldn't help. So my woman sitting there, just trying to tell me that I'm angry. I'm just like, I know I'm angry, you don't need to tell me that. It was crap. When Bryony was 11, her parents separated, dividing her family straight down the middle. Alicia stayed with me. I think Bryony went with her mum for about a year. But after her mum struggled on her own, Bryony moved back in with her dad. Now with no school, no job, and no desire to do anything, she relies on Dad Bill to do everything for her. Bryony, can you come and clean the piss up, please? You know the procedure. There you go. Can you see what happened? No, Bryony, can you do the whole thing, please? Bryony's future is at a standstill, and for Bill, it's worse than ever. I think she's a spoiled little cow, yeah. That's my own fault. She treats me like a slave. She seems to have no respect for me. I just feel like from the time I get up in the morning to the time I go to bed, it's just a constant battle. To try and turn their irresponsible teenagers into mature adults, the desperate dads have agreed to send them to live with new parents on the other side of the world. Do you want some um, pocket money? Yeah. How much do you want? 20? No. Have a good time, yeah? Thank you. Give us a cuddle then, Sam. I'm, I'm going to miss you. Quiet. You see, why don't we give me a hug? I think this trip's really going to sink into him, and hopefully, with something well, good, will come out of it. Be a good girl, all right? Make a good show yourself, all right? Yeah, will... Don't let the family down. All right, I'll try all not right. to. Try and enjoy yourself a little bit. Oh. Thank you. Hi. Hi, I'm Bryony. I'm Ramsey. Hey. 
It's nervous. Yeah, I'm really nervous. nervous. I've never flown before. Haven't you? No. Really? Yeah, so I'm gonna be really scared. Yeah, good. They're heading to Argentina's capital, Buenos Aires. Famed for the tango, it's also the second biggest city in South America. The teens will be staying in an affluent gated community one hour north of the city with the family. Dad Gonzalo owns his own advertising firm and Guadalupe is a full-time mum. They have two kids, Juancho, 15, and Santiago, who's 13. Santi. Will you clean up the surface of the swimming pool, please? The first and most important rule in our house is to follow the rules. We are not used to hear no from our kids. Gonzalo has based his parenting style on his own upbringing. I grew up in a very strict house. My father was from the Navy, and there were rules that must be done, and that was the way that I grew up. In the book, they home. There is a formula to the hierarchy. Gonzalo is the captain, and I am the first officer, but I am in charge. You're doing your homework. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Please. But here is an S. The system of parenting works by their kids earning rights. If they respect the rules, they can go to parties, they can come with friends to our house. If they don't respect the school rules or our rules, they know that the, the answer is no. Oh, oh. Freezing. It's piss tight. After traveling almost 7,000 miles, Bryony and Ramsey touched down in a wintry Buenos Aires, Argentina. Oh, oh my wow. God, imagine if we lived there. Look at that. No, look at them houses. It better be rich, otherwise I can't, I can't sit in a mud hut. Right. They look like they're going to fall over any second now. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this at all. The security guards at the gated community have two jobs, to stop undesirables getting in and unaccompanied children getting out. 92, 515, 677. I feel safe that we went through the gates. Yeah, same. Because of all the little mud houses. Yeah, like seeing bars. They seem a bit better houses now, don't they? Yeah. Oh my god, they're standing there. Do we just get out and get? Should we get suitcases? He looks really weird. Oh my god, look at him. He's fat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. How embarrassing! Oh my god. How scary. Oh my god, oh my god. Uh, oh my god, look at him. Hello. Hey, how are you? Hi, hello. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Welcome. You are welcome. Welcome to our house, welcome to our family. Yeah. His youngest son, 13 year old Santiago, is ill in bed. But his older brother, Juancho, is ready and waiting. This is your brother, <laughs> Juancho. Juancho. To the left. It's going to be ladies' room, <laughs> and this will be your room. Okay. It's okay. You, you can have plenty of toys. So <laughs> you can play a lot. I hope you'll be comfortable mm -hmm. and, and enjoy your your staying with Bustamantes. <laughs> oh, they're too nice. Hello, welcome home. Hello, I'm your new dad. Oh, hello, the nerd. Not my new home. I'm here for seven days. It's a little bit strange to me I have a girl because I have two boys, so I am worried about this because I treat my boys like if I was a father too. So we have to learn about each other. In anticipation of a smoking ban, the teens hide their stash of cigarettes. Yeah, put them in there. Gonzalo had a strict military upbringing, so establishing a code of conduct for his guests to follow is paramount. The first rule is respect the rules of our family. 
Any one of you smokes? Mm -hmm. Well, you can smoke if you want, but outside. Okay. As we tell our kids, school is your job. You're going to go to school. I don't know. Oh, no, I'm not going to school. How long do we have to go there for? Is it like six hours? Um, no, I think this, it's in Argentina, the bilingual schools are from eight to four, I think. Oh, my God. <laughs> you must have good manners at the dinner table, no elbows or, or table. Don't, don't do this when, when we are eating. You not always try the hardest when you are representing our family. If people see you misbehave, uh, they will think badly of my name, of Bustamante. If you agree with them, I ask you to sign them. If you don't, you have to sign it anyway. <laughs> That's right. Because we don't discuss with our kids. Because we are the parents, you are the mm -hmm. kids. And uh, this is not a democracy. We, we, we are in charge. One particular rule seems to have trouble the teens. School. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 hours. I don't want to go to school. I've already been to yeah. school. I'm scared now. Hmm? I don't know. She seems like a white bitch. They don't like the rules, they, especially once or twice, but they don't have a choice because they, they will live here and this That's is That's the, the way that we live. Before lunch, Bryony and Ramsey question elder son, Juancho, to see if he is friend or foe. Have you ever been drunk? I don't really like alcohol, but... Really? There's a lot of parties and stuff like that. Yeah, of parties. course, there are a lot, but... I, of course, I go to the parties, I have a lot of fun, but without alcohol, it's the same, but... I think you should take us to a party. We should. Excuse me. Hi. What is this? This was inside of the toilet paper. <laughs> Don't laugh. Be, be, be adult. We are now five years old. I'm laughing. Yeah. How am I laughing? Give me. Your... Why are you telling me I'm laughing? I'm sorry. I told you that we don't allow to smoke inside, and this is in uh, the, the kids' bathroom. Why? Probably because you're like, we didn't know what you were going to say. No, to... listen to me, I'm talking. Basically, they probably... Wait, they Shh, to... I'm talking. No, no. I'm talking. Listen to me, Shh, young I'm lady. Talking. Listen don't to me. Face. Listen to me, young lady. Who do you think you are? Listen to me. Shh, this is get... my house, oh, well and done. you are not well going done. to yell to me. You're not supposed to... To put the, this inside yes, my boy's know, toilet. What I'm saying. This was inside the toilet I'm paper. Saying. What I'm and saying. Asante was throwing out in the inside, and, and I, I just did this. Did you put this inside in the bathroom? We came into your house. We hid a few because we thought you'd get them taken away. So we was going to give you the pack with some hidden, obviously, because they. Hid no, because we trust you. We don't have to discuss in this matter. We were clear. We deserve some respect inside our house. And it's for your healthy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. To you? Mm-hmm. OK. What I won't do is sleep in the morning. Mm -hmm. Mealtimes for the family are a social event and an important part of the daily routine. OK. Be my I guess. want a small bit. Please. Please. <laughs> This is okay. Enjoy our first meal. <laughs> How is the taste? Good. Okay. Yeah. Tell us something about you. Where do you live? In in London? Essex. London basically. Who would you, you live with in, in London? I live with my dad. Your dad? Mm. And and you? My dad. My dad? Okay. Do you want to go to toilet, yeah? Yeah. But Bryony's already forgotten one of the mealtime rules. They are both outside the table. I'm not eating anymore. Hmm? What? I'm not eating anymore. Yes, um, but it, we are at the, at the table, so... Yeah, you're in the you table. Have to... Do you remember that we tried to have a correct position, you know? I'll just go to my room then. Just go... No, no, no. Oh, you can go to the Um... This is not the way that I want to spend this week. <laughs> It's a baptism of fire for the I prefer to speak things and try to 
understand each other. We have okay, the whole okay, week. Okay, goodbye. Uh, not goodbye. We just said hello two hours ago. We used to keep together at lunch. It's the family moment, and I uh, want to know about you. No, I just don't want to be told what to do and stuff. I just I don't. Okay. I wait you ten minutes. No, okay. Thank you. I think that's not the attitude because it's like, come on, let's make this week the best experience for all of us. And it's easy if you respect the rules. They're not difficult rules. Oh, this is absolute. Stop shouting at me! You're shouting at me. <laughs> I just don't want to wear them, but they're pissing me no, off. No, but the dad's the best. He's lovely. After a few days of their talk, he's going to be brain. The woman does don't show up. Yeah, and she's just like, going on. She's like, oh, yes. Shut the door. I'm the tired of her there. Our first day, it was hard. I, I never expect that the, the, the things go so fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's so surprised fast, me. So fast so, and so bad. It's a big mind. challenge because uh, we are not used to, but it's going it's to be easy, okay. It's not easy, but not impossible. Mm -hmm. Nothing is impossible. It's Ramsey and Bryony's first full day in Argentina. Remember that you're going to school today. Gonzalo wants to make sure the teens know exactly what's expected of them. Remember we were talking yesterday about my name and your Try to make me proud. Okay. We talk later when I come back and you tell me your experience. Yeah. I hope it'll be positive. But for image-obsessed yeah. Ramsey, it's the school uniform that's troubling him more than anything else. You've got a pin. Look at it. Do they actually wear this? Like, really, like, actually wear this? Mm. It's not even about individuality, it's about looking like a dick, basically, with a green fucking woolly thing and tractor bombs. The teens will be attending San Patricio's College one of Buenos Aires' many bilingual schools. San Patricio is a fee-paying school, and a strong work ethic is expected of all its pupils. Kids who come to my school work really hard. We praise responsibility, we praise uh, loyalty, and we try and trust our students. And pupils at the school understand that any bad behavior will not be tolerated. Do we have kids who misbehave here very often? In my office, no, no, we don't. Guadalupe has brought the kids in early today so they can meet head teacher Marissa. Well, people um, at this school, we behave and we live like a family. We try not to break rules, we try to respect each other, and especially we trust each other, yeah? So I beg you to behave and also to let other people behave, yes? But I think that we will get along well, yeah? Today, the teens will be joining an English language class for final year students. Before we start, I would like you guys to come please here to the front and tell the rest of the class why you're here and what your aims are by this experience, okay? Oh, you do it. You can do it from there if you don't want to stand up. Um, I'm Ramsey. We're here because we misbehave at home and they want to try and change us so we're better. And what about you? Just the same as him. Guys, would you like to ask them anything? I don't know what they do back there, if they have any hobbies, sports? <laughs> what do you enjoy doing? Like, just with my mates. Just, 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 yeah, parties and stuff. <laughs> do you smoke or drink? Yeah. <laughs> On average, how much do you spend every time? Well, not out, but... Yeah. Oh, just like to get all of it. All of it? It depends if you get a cab on the side. If you get a cab on, it's like 60 quid, but it's almost about 20, 30. 
Introductions over, it's time to get down to some work. We're going to read a story about a person, okay, who got this. I'm not reading. I'm not reading that loud, I'll read it. Mm. Lance, being a seemingly healthy young man, ignored the warning signs. By the time the cancer was diagnosed, it has spread to his lung, abdomen and brain. His chances of survival dim. The reading task set by the teacher requires concentration from the whole class. You don't want to read and you don't want to work, it's OK. I'm listening. Yeah, but I'm, it's not enough. You know, you're being disrespectful with that attitude. We're going to have to ask you to leave the class if you're going to keep on doing that. What, well, because I'm just sitting here? Because you're being disrespectful. I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at you. I don't want you to look at me. I want you to grab a piece of paper and behave like the rest of the people. Can you start reading, please, son? <laughs> Listen, you need to stop saying those things because they're not allowed in class. You don't hear the rest no, of the no, people. I don't want to listen to all this. So listen, either you stop saying that or Just we're going to... Just in case, shush! I'm sorry, you're laughing, you're shouting at me. Well done. Marisa, I'm going to have to ask you to take her out because she's yes, shouting, she's, she's swearing. Oh, she's yeah. happy to come with me. Oh my God, please pick the chair. Please Not pick the chair. Not I didn't touch you, so I'm sorry. Stop there. Darling, come, stop there. I don't want to learn English. I don't well, want to listen we to know, people. We know you don't well, want to. I'm not going to sit in there. I've already done school. It doesn't mean I have to do it again. Sorry, please. Could you please stop there? Could you please stop there? Let's go. Let's go back to class Hi. because I think you might find something interesting what? from what is being said there. Stop following me. Do you hear about nature? This one. What's cancer? It's not that difficult, is it? Yoga. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> you can't smoke in here. Yes? I'm not going to indoors or something outside. You're not going to go out, yes? So, okay. give the cigarette back. What? No. Don't touch. No. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't Now. Don't touch. Don't touch. Get me out. Could you please? You old woman. Get me out of here. Sorry, you are not. Don't you dare! Out. Sit down. I'm not sitting down. Sit down, please. No. Yeah. Do you want a punch? No. Do you want a punch? I don't need to be okay. aggressive. Yeah. Can I go with this? I'm really angry. And I'm going to touch a stupid other woman. Blimey! What? She doesn't get. Concerned about Briny's behaviour? Marissa decides to call Guadalupe. For the other classmates, it's been a real eye-opener. She has no limits. You cannot shout at a teacher. You cannot push a teacher. She brought this on, didn't she? She should have blocked the door while I wanted to go and calm down. Whoa. <laughs> she just flips for no reason. It's weird. Like, she's sitting there and be quiet, and then she, like, I'd push the teacher and that, and then she's like, oh, I don't know, she's... Moves are up and down all the time. Unsure of what's taken place, Guadalupe is summoned to the school. First, she just put her head on the table and she started swearing in class. And then uh, she came into the classroom, asked you for a cigarette, you gave her one. I told you you were not allowed to smoke here at school. So that's why I think they shouldn't be staying for the rest of the day with us. Okay. I'm sorry. Thank you very much, Marisa. I appreciate the effort. OK. With the teen suspended for disrupting the class and smoking on school grounds, Guadalupe takes them home to decide how to tackle the situation. At the end of the day, we must talk about what happens today at school. Why you become mad so fast? I try to understand why. All right, please, 
you go? Why? I'm going outside. Why? Yes, you no. can go, but not her. Why? You can go, Where not go? her, because I don't allow. Well, it's up to her. She wants to be alone. No. I'm, I'm sure she's independent. No, no, the gun, coward. No. Don't dare push it. Yes, no. Do you want it to happen? What happened to this? You are <laughs> supposed to be alone. Don't force me to do this. Don't force me to punch you on the face. What did you say? I said, don't force me to punch you on the face. Don't dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Do I get to my face? Don't, I don't, I well, don't touch, I don't outside. touch you, but you have to stay here why? alone because it's that. What's wrong? What's wrong? I thought your kids don't get angry like this. No, it's this is my kid. This is not yours. Yeah, I know that. What's and wrong? he's angry too you, yeah, because you are shouting tell me. Tell me what's wrong. Don't no. what tricked my mom. What? You have to respect her. Okay. Yep. If she says, you? if she says you can't go outside, you can't go outside and point. It's my mom, and I'm not going to let you to speak like that. I know it's your mom. Don't, oh, I so your don't write your, don't write your voice to her. Oh, I just want to go home now. She started raising her voice and saying bad words, so I got really mad. It's okay. <gasps> I love you, but this is not the way. I'm proud of you. Gonzalo's home, and he's keen to find out how Bryony and Ramsey did at school today. Is everything okay? Well, uh, well, not everything okay, because there, there was a little bit, a little incident at school. Given the lowdown from Guadalupe, Gonzalo decides to try a different approach. If you do crazy things, there are going to be crazy results. Yeah. You know? Sorry. No, 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 not sorry. You never ask, tell me sorry of me. You have to say sorry of you. OK. You lose the opportunity to get in touch with a different culture, with a different kids, uh, you know, the one that the only one that loses is you when you behave this yeah. way. Gonzalo's soothing words seem to have struck a chord with Briny. I love Gonzalo. He's really nice. I get along with him loads. He's a good dad. It's just a mum, really. She's so annoying. She doesn't shut up. Like, she doesn't let you talk. She doesn't understand. Like, and she's just like, oh, no, no, shut up. Get in your room, shut up. Suspended from school, Ramsey and Bryony are at home, but Gonzalo's not planning on letting them take it easy. Anna. He's arranged for their neighbour, Anna, to take the teens to do some charity work today. Born and raised in Buenos Aires, Anna has witnessed the rise of the city's slum population and been doing what she can to help for the last eight years. Here in our gated community, we live in a privileged way. Mm -hmm. But there are some people that live outside that uh, are not so lucky. And uh, Anna is the one that has the biggest heart <laughs> in Talar del Lago and uh, tried to, get, to give them a, a, a big hand. In Argentina, it's a common sight to see affluent gated communities sat side by side with slums. So Anna is taking the teens to a slum just 10 minutes' drive from the Bustamante's doorstep. It's like they just randomly pulled things off random houses and built a house. <laughs> Never been to a place like this before in my life. I'm scared. As many as 500,000 of a population of 3 million people live in communities like this in central Buenos Aires alone. The charity where Anna volunteers is a small school in the heart of the slum. Hola chicos. Buen día. ¿Cómo les va? Esta es Bree y Ram. Didn't expect to be like this like where we've been in a house, like, it's so luxurious, but, like, here, this is, like, the real Argentina, ain't it? It's just dogs everywhere, and I feel like I'm in a third-world country. <sighs> yes. 
Not very nice, but it's upsetting as well because of all the little kids and stuff, but they seem happy. The job Anna has in mind for Bryony and Remsey is to begin the much-needed redecorating of one of the classrooms. Is it going in? Yeah, bits on the side, so it's oh, fine. Right. And be generous with the paint because uh, we've got to cover all this with one coat. With the teens out of the house, Guadalupe phones Bryony's dad, Bill, to try and find out more about the explosive behaviour she showed at school. Hello. Hi, I'm Guadalupe from Argentina. Good evening to you. Brian is a nice girl, but she has a little bit of issues that I, I would like to talk to you about. She has got some serious anger problems. Kind of messed up her schooling. Mm -hmm. She was excluded from school. Then we, she was diagnosed at a very late stage. With ADHD. Oh. But also, she's got a very low concentration time. You know, she loses concentration very quickly. ADHD, or Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, affects levels of focus and concentration predominantly in children. The problem wasn't identified with Bryony until after she'd been expelled from school. She was just a naughty little girl in, in a junior school. Then she went up to is it secondary school, and then the problem started because she had to do some serious work. But obviously the, the ADHD wasn't recognised and, and the school basically couldn't cope with her behaviour. There are ways to deal with ADHD, both medical and psychological, but it's Bryony's emotional response when she can't cope that causes her fits of rage. It's even gone beyond her schooling and is now affecting all areas of her life. These are my old trophies from Irish dancing. I used to do Irish dancing, um, but obviously I quit. That's my drama certificate. And this is ages ago. This is for my musical theatre. That was when I had hobbies, though. It's Bryony again. She, she loses interest, you know, very quickly. I just give up. I give up a lot, lot which is quite stupid. The phone call with Bryony's dad has been a revelation to Guadalupe. I learned a lot of things of Bryony that I didn't know. And then I have to know, and I have to think about all the things he told me. Back at the slum, Bryony's lost concentration and stopped working, leaving Ramsey to paint on his own. You want to sit there and do nothing? Just go outside, please. Shut up. You just go outside. Shut up. Me. No, you shut up. No, you uh, shut up. I'm not being funny. We're all here to like. I've, I've just done loads of shit. And, oh. what, and I have it. I don't understand. Why I just stand there when you can like give me more paint or something? Well, you didn't ask for it. Yeah, but you maybe just next ask. time ask. Oh whatever. I can't bother to write. Well, why did you start rowing then? Because you're annoying. I don't understand why you just have to stand there. Anna is shocked to see how the British teens act in front of her. Honestly, if it came from one of my grandchildren or something, yes, I'd be pretty surprised. But uh, when she's angry and she's using bad language, I don't think she realises how ugly it all looks, and it was a shame it happened. Anna takes Bryony aside. You, you always get angry that quickly, yeah? Uh, you know, you'll find out in time. It's mm. not worth it. <laughs> When you get angry, there's only one other thing you can do. Yeah. Get pleased again. You know, you should never get angry because you're so pretty, so pretty when you smile. Okay. Ah, when all your teeth fall out and you can't smile, <laughs> then you can get angry. <laughs> Why don't you go and see how he's getting on? What's your sir? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can do it. I think you can do it. You're terrific. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did a good job. If you're ever in the country again, I'll actually kill you. Okay. Today has been a chance for Ramsey and Bryony to see a different side of Argentina. When we went out the gate of the community, we thought that was really bad, but this is worse, but it's like friendly. I thought it would have been like, get shot or something, but it's really friendly for some reason. So, 
Even after a difficult start, Anna is keen for the teens to return and finish the job. We've already told them we're coming back on Thursday. We've already told them we're going to paint flowers on the wall. If you promise, you've got to do it. We've got one more white wall to do. We're going to go back to the house, draw some stencils, and then on Thursday we're coming back to like, just like decorate it, clean it up and stuff like that. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing their faces and that. I don't want to leave them. I can't wait till we come back on Thursday now. As night falls over Buenos Aires, Marissa at San Patricio's college has called. There's been a meeting to discuss Bryony and Ramsey's behavior, and the result is outright expulsion. The principal of the school called us and said that you are not allowed to, to get in the school again. I asked you, please, to take care about my name. You didn't do any effort about that. Ramsey, what do you think about this? I just want to call it back to be honest. Excuse me, I didn't understand. What we talked about? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're going to be sorry if I get more angry. Right, oh, yeah, cool. I promise you. Right, yeah, I'll get your point. Okay, you are in my house and you have to respect yes, my rules. Oh, no. Is that clear? Yes, it okay. is. Think about it because the next time is not, to, not going to be uh, talking, you know? Wow. Oh, Thursday, I think you're not going again to the activity. You have to earn it. But we're not saying we're earning, we're helping people, we're like less So you won't even right? let us help people? If you want to go back... I do. ...show some, you know, effort, OK? Thank you. It's the first time the teens have had to deal with the consequences of their bad behaviour. Well, they've been f***ing taking all the experience away. What's the point of saying that we can't go back here? Yeah? Like, when we're in front of you, like, we've done half the work, it's a bit out of order just to leave them with, like, half a room painted. I think they are going to, to improve, and the, the only thing that I want is to make them think. Bryony and Ramsey know they need to change if they want to see Anna or the nursery school again. It's got leaf on it. Don't know how I could do that one. Ramsey breaks the deadlock and starts helping Guadalupe with some jobs around the house. The first is to clear up after the Bustamante's two dogs. Uh, this one's all hard. You need to stop feeding them. Don't feed them, then they won't poo, see? <laughs> and there are no temper tantrums when Guadalupe asks Bryony to help take the dogs for a walk. When my dog sees big dogs like this, she goes, her tail tucks in, and she goes really shy. In the hope of returning to the slum tomorrow, Bryony and Ramsey work on designs for a mural. How old are they, like, toddlers, like, from... They're well young. From, like, three, two, three, like, three, two... They said they start learning English there, don't they? Mm. I am very pleased that they are doing this. I, I know they have strong feelings about the kids, so... It's really good that it, this kind of things become big from inside them. They didn't need me to ask them for it. The sun, at least, when you put sun. Oh, yeah, sun. Yeah, just do that then. With both teens showing signs of improvement, even Bryony is letting her guard down with the family. That's quite good, actually. That's good. Not only do Juancho and Bryony both play the drums, but Juancho has also suffered from anger problems. Well, the drums really help, like, with no problem inside. I guess, like, anger or something like that. Like, the relationship with my parents improved. With my friends, too, it was something that I had inside, which this helped me to release it out. I'm looking forward to playing the drums when I get back. I'm going to... Ask my dad if I can have them at mine now. And then I'll be able to play them every day. Yeah, I think I think it'd make me more calm and stuff. You should keep with it. Mm. It's really helpful. Yeah. Me and Quancho have got quite a lot of stuff in common. We both have problems with anger. And um, um, we get our anger out by drums and, like, <clears throat> he was saying that it's helped him. Now I sort of 
So. I've played since I've been here. It feels like I definitely want to, because I was like thinking of just like getting rid of my drum kit and just selling it and then spending it on myself. But drums is just like like a really cool hobby I like and I enjoy it. And it makes me happy to see, because I can hear myself. Ramsey is helping Guadalupe prepare the dinner. Back home, he hasn't eaten a meal with his dad in over a year. I only live with my dad, so we don't really do this at home, right? The only time like, we all sit down for meals when we go around my nan. You live with your dad, not with your mum, because no. your mum lives in another place. Yeah, this is her boyfriend. When, when I did live with my mum, like, yeah. I used to like, cook yeah. food for my mum and that, but then I since moved in with my dad, I just don't. Spending time with Guadalupe has made Ramsey reflect on his relationship with his own mother. I really didn't want to talk to her because I thought she was really selfish. Expected me and my sister just to up and leave our whole lives just so she can move me and my boyfriend. That really pissed me off. I was just being really stubborn. I like, didn't want to deal with my life that much, mainly. Like, if I moved in with him, that would have been it. He would have had like, power over me. I didn't want that. Both Bryony and Ramsey hope to return to the charity tomorrow. But the decision lies with Gonzalo. Give me a little bit. And tell me, how was the day today? Relaxing. You're right, relaxing, but they both make big efforts because... I, I wanted didn't... to hear that. And what will be the best thing that we, you love to do tomorrow? To go, go back to... Just to finish it off, just yeah, like just... we know that we've done it, like... If I went home now knowing that I've only done, just painted, painted it and haven't even finished the whole room, it just yeah. like really annoy me. I think that you earn, really earn the the right to to went back and and make uh, happy those Congratulations. kids. Congratulations. And you too. Yeah. yeah. Before the teens head back to the charity this morning, a letter has arrived for Ramsey from his mum and her partner, Neil. Perhaps you want to read it alone? Mm. Read it alone. Take a few minutes and, and after wait, if you want to call me. OK? OK. Hello, Ramsey. When you come home, Neil and I would like to have a chat with you, maybe get everything out in the open. Neil was saying, how good this is for you. And he also said you will go far in life, which I know you will. I love you, son, and I do hope the family see the way we do, fun, loving and caring, because that's what you are. It's just, I think, we have all got a bit lost on the way. I want you to come round and be a part of this life, and so does Neil. I'm so proud of you for all what you have done, and I love you more than anything. Oh, no. It's a nice letter. It was the kind of thing that you expected to read? No, I just expected to be more angry and her going on about the past instead of the future. Basically saying forget about what's happened and we can move on. Perhaps this week it, it, it's the time enough for you and, and, and for your family to, to try to change little things that are going to be making big changes in the future. I hope. Mine and my dad's relationship can be better. Mm -hmm. Mine and my mum's relationship can be better. And mine and my with, with your dad, dad, yeah, basically. But hopefully when I get home, it'll all change. I hope so. It will change. I know you will. <laughs> You're a good man. So are you. <laughs> I know that Ramsey has a lot of potential. I, I see his changes here from, you know, the beginning of the week till now. And, He's, he's amazing. He wants to make changes. Bryony and Ramsey arrive at the slum, keen to finish what they started. Do it like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's not going to be, we can just do it. Yeah, we can paint it on better anyway, can't yeah. we? Whilst Bryony marks out the mural the teens designed yesterday, Ramsey finishes whitewashing the last wall. At first I thought it was the family was being horrible, telling us that we can't come back to help them. But it was like actually us, because we had to behave. 
like help them. Because it sounds weird, but like, it, 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 we was, if we was bad, we would have been selfish because we would not have been able to help them. So I'm happy we behaved. With the kindergarten class relocated outside for the morning, Bryony and Ramsey work double quick time. And to finish it off in style, the teens have an idea. You ready? Ah, uh, <laughs> 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 Where should we do it? Underneath them all. Oh, oh, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> With the transformation complete, it's time to reveal the results. They all want to thank you very, very much for having done the painting and the drawings. And they're very, very grateful. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not used to like people being happy, like for something I've done. Like, you're like being thankful for something yeah, no, you've like, done. Makes me want to smile. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's tremendous, and all I hope is that uh, they carry on and they remember, and that this really helps them um, change things and see that what they probably what they have at home is pretty good. I don't think you get like a buzz of this without getting money and stuff like that. It's like crazy to think, like little kids like that actually. Don't know. The amount of money I spend on clothes, probably to build like three of them. It makes me feel really bad. Like maybe if I go out and pay like pair of trainers for like one month, they could like get more food for like one month. And I feel like a dick spending all that money. Bryony's time here has also made her think differently about her behaviour back home. If someone says something I don't like at all, or, like I don't agree with, I do get angry. And, like when I'm angry, then I get upset, and it all happens, and then I feel sorry. Like what I say to them after, I just that's, just need to calm down a bit, really. It was four years ago that Bryony moved out of her mother's house to live with her dad. Today, a letter has arrived, and it's from Bryony's mum. My beautiful Bryony, only three days have gone, and it seems like three months. Not having any contact with you has been so difficult. Bryony, you have so many qualities. My wish is that you look at your inner self and make the changes you know will make a difference. And now you can prove to yourself and others what you are capable of. Missing you so much. I love you, mum. Are you happy? Yeah. She does tell me stuff like this before, like quite a lot, but it's never really got to me like this. I've never really wanted to make changes and stuff, but I really do. Your mum is so proud. I know because I'm proud too. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the letter now, and I'm just going to just have some time by myself. OK. Thank you. Let's kiss. <laughs> Special barbecue. It's Bryony and Ramsey's last night in Argentina, and Gonzalo's laid on a traditional Argentinian barbecue for the whole family. Thank you for everything. You've been the most amazingest um, parents ever, and um, this isn't going to be the end. No. no. I hope right. so. I hope. And I'm to meet fine. again and keep in contact. <laughs> keep in touch. Yeah, and <laughs>
For the British teens, their week in Argentina is at an end. This experience has helped me realise, like, it's not all about me, cos I did, all I did was care about myself and, like, I sort of took things for granted. But, like, I'm sort of trying to take things in a different way and I, if I disagree, I just keep my mouth shut, otherwise there'll be a big argument, so I'm just going to try and be more polite and help around the house. It has actually been a life-changing experience, like, I used to just be horrible to everyone. But now, like, I've learnt to put myself in other people's shoes, like, how it would feel if someone done that to me. It's not nice. You should treat someone how you want to be treated, I think. You need to go home and think about stuff now. Thank you so uh -huh. much. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> we love you. We love you too. Come on. You always be my girl, you know. Thank you for everything. You make a big effort. I try. Yeah, no, you make an excellent effort. One last time. That's right. <laughs> love you. Very quiet without Bryony around the house, but I must admit, I can't believe how much I have really actually missed her, even though she can be a, a real pain sometimes. Hello. Oh, hey, babe. Just been such a cool experience and stuff. But yeah, I want things to change. Good, I hope so. And you're going to help me around the house a bit yeah. more? Perhaps we can do more things together. I just wanted to be a bit more family, like, where we talk more. I can't, can't wait. Yeah, I can see a bit of a difference in her. Oh, even after a week, she's come back a little bit more calmer and chilled out. I can't change everything, but I'm going to change all the stuff I need to change. I've shown myself that I can do it, so what's the point in being an idiot and not carrying it on? So, yeah, of course I'm going to do it. I'm hoping that he's not change as a whole person and just get the niggly things out of him like the cheekiness and respect me a bit more and respect his money a bit more and just to take more responsibilities hello son how's the guy get some cuddle oh yeah. I am really really sorry for taking so much money with you and stuff like that I feel really mm. bad and like taking all my anger out on you when it weren't your fault and just basically pushing you away. I'm just in I'm just in shock, mate. Right. I really just, I really, I'm, and I'm going to help you, son. I'm going to help you a lot. Here's another hug, son. Do you know what? <laughs> I'm really, really glad. <laughs>